Hi, this is Dennis DeSantis from Ableton. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to combine multiple live sets uh, into your current working project so that you can reuse assets uh, that you may have worked on in a previous uh, work session. So in this example, I've got a set loaded right now called Chords and Bases. You can see the name is up here, and it's just a kind of uh, dubby uh, session that I've been working on that has three MIDI tracks, a bass track and a kind of stabs chord track and this little swelling pattern. But what I need is some drums. Now certainly I could create a new audio or MIDI track and start loading or, or writing loops, but I already have a set here called Some Drum Ideas, which I'd like to work with. Uh, if I double click this set now, it's going to load it in place of the set that I have. So it's not possible to load multiple sets at the same time in live, but you can do something better. I can drag this set into the current set. And as soon as I mouse over these tracks, you'll see that I can see an outline of the clips that are contained in the set. And these, uh, the, you know, do not enter uh, circles over some of them show that it's the wrong clip type for the track that I'm hovering over. But I want to do something different. I want to drag over to the side here, next to the tracks that are already in place, and drop. And what this will do is load the entire set inside the set that I currently have. So you can see here we dropped two new tracks and it has a bunch of clips in it. So now if I relaunch this scene, we've loaded now a complex drum rack, which we had already saved in part of this other set, and then a track with some effects on it and some audio clips, which I can launch in place. So you can import inside a set that's already there, but you can actually do even more than that. So now I'm going to delete these two tracks so we can get back to where we were. A set in Live's file browser is actually a folder, and if I unfold it, I can see that the contents of the set itself are also visible as assets, and these can be individually dragged in uh, inside the set that's already open. So if I want just part of the set that I've saved before, I can drag just bits of it. So I have the two tracks here, my MIDI track and my audio track that we heard, and then I can even unfold those further and see the individual clips that are inside them. So here I have the three MIDI clips and the three audio clips that were available. And I can, let's say I just want to drag one of these in. I don't want the whole thing. I can drop that in place it and this took with it the uh, the effects that were already on that uh, track now let's say I just want the MIDI from uh, one of these drum patterns but I don't want uh, the audio I can just drag the clip itself onto a uh, track that's already there and if I do that if I drag just the clip onto an already existing track of the same type it won't replace any of the devices. It'll just drop the MIDI notes. And in this case, this is a set of drum notes, so they don't really make sense on this uh, track that contains a pitched instrument. But this is something you could do if you wanted to mix and match just MIDI notes, uh, but leave the devices that are already there in place. So that's a quick tutorial about how to combine uh, sets of different types into a single set so you can reuse assets that you've worked on before. 